8 Extinct Volcanoes from Across the World Volcanoes are unnerving and they are damaging with the capacity to change a scene out of nowhere. They've finished whole old civic establishments and they've pulverized present-day attempts yet they additionally go wiped out like anything more in the world. What are 8 of these terminated volcanoes? Volcanoes are focuses in the world's covering that consider the arrival of magma, gases, and debris. Stuff from beneath the world's surface comes to the top when they eject. At the point when it gets to the top, it turns out so that a fountain of liquid magma is shaped on the grounds that magma piles up on itself. A wiped out fountain of liquid magma is one that no longer approaches a magma supply. This contrasts from torpid volcanoes that actually can emit out of the blue. Researchers struggle with differentiating among torpid and wiped out volcanoes for various reasons however there are a couple of basic guidelines. This extinct volcano last erupted about 60,000 years ago and it isn't expected to erupt again. In New Mexico at the time of this volcano's formation, there was a lot of lava, ash, and volcanic activity occurring. Calucan volcano is responsible for spreading 15 square miles of lava over the landscape when it was alive. Calupan volcano is the remnants of a cinder cone volcano. Cinder cone volcanoes are the easiest volcano to form and the most recognizable. When magma is ejected and lava rains down, it falls around the blast hole forming the characteristic cinder cone. It is part of an 8,000 square miles volcanic field. This volcanic field is called the Raton Clayton Volcanic Field. A volcanic field is the area of the Earth's crust that is or was an active source of volcanic activity. This is the tallest mountain in the United Kingdom, the British Isles, and Scotland. The peak shows that this is an ancient volcano with a collapsed dome. Collapsed domes happen when the roof of a volcano falls into the magma chamber fueling the volcano from underneath. This volcano faced its extinction 350 million years ago. Ben Nevis collapsed in on itself which created a huge explosion. Evidence of this explosion is found in the rocks on and near the mountain. This extinct volcano last erupted around 250,000 years ago. It's a shield volcano which means that the lava that it spewed was runnier than that used to form cinder cone volcanoes. This means the lava spread out over a greater distance before cooling which creates sides with a very gradual slope. They're called shield volcanoes because they look like a warrior shield lying on the ground. Glaciers during the last ice age then rubbed up against Mount Thiels and eroding a sizable portion of it. This is why its peak is spindly and horn shaped. There are several lakes in the area around Vav and Namus, which attract large populations of mosquitoes. Vav and Namus translates to Oasis of Mosquitoes. This extinct volcano is most likely around 200,000 years old though some think it's substantially younger. It's a caldera that rises out of the desert. It's surrounded by black tephra. Tephra is a fragmental material made from any pyroclastic activity. It's different from a pyroclastic flow because it is in bits and pieces instead of it forming into one continuous rock. Tamu Massif is an extinct volcano underwater in the Pacific Ocean. It's the remnants of a shield volcano and its slopes are gradual at no more than 1 degree on average. It's part of an underwater mountain range that was formed by volcanic activity called the Shotsky Rise. This volcano burned fast and brightly before it went extinct. It was formed about 145 million years ago and went extinct just a few million years later. It's currently cut off from magma by more than 19 miles of the Earth's crust so it's believed it'll never erupt again. Some like to think it's one of the largest shield volcanoes in the solar system, but that isn't necessarily true as it may have been formed with the help of tectonic plates. If it wasn't created in one single eruption, it's not a pure shield volcano. This is just one of several extinct volcanoes in Ireland. This volcano and all of the others haven't erupted in over 60 million years. Mount Sleamish is the remnants of a plug of a much larger volcano. The remaining rock that had surrounded the plug has eroded over time. The plug we see now was formed right before Mount Sleamish went extinct. The crater of this volcano is filled with water which creates St. Anne Lake. The last eruption was around 30,000 years ago but scientists recently discovered that the volcano still has an active magma source. That doesn't mean the volcano is going to erupt anytime soon or at all. However, it does bring to light that our understanding of volcanoes and volcanic activity is still developing. 
The Sutter Buttes consist of a few lava domes that have eroded since the corresponding volcanoes were active around 1.6 million years ago. They're associated with the same activity that created the coastal range in California. These buttes represent the only lava flow that's occurred in the Central Valley of California. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe.